I think some of the key issues are talking about the real world, uh, what is happening in the lucky few compared to the real world, which is unfortunately the majority. So while we're talking about uh, you know stratifying patients based on prognostic markers, giving new drugs, new combinations, the issues of accessibility to technology and drugs, accessibility, availability, and sustainability. I mean, who's paying for all this? So these are things that I will probably discuss in my talk because they asked me to touch upon what the real life is because you know, you always talk about the clinical trials, the, mo the most advanced, what is happening. So I think it's a very important point to see w where the world is going and how we can afford in all, in a broad way, all these uh, aspects. Keep in mind also that, I mean, CLL is a disease of the elderly or mature age, put it, let's not be too... Uh, uh, and that is another point because the median age of the population worldwide is increasing. So this means that we've seen more patients. Uh, I come from a country in Europe where the median age of women is already approaching 85, median age. A man, always lower as usual, but still it's around 80. This is the general population. So the median age for CLL is around 70, depends on the country, 70, 72, at diagnosis. At treatment, it's 75, 76. So this obviously, you know, if you're aging, it, it's an important point, you see more patients. And the other point is that people today age much better than when I was a kid. So a 70 year old today is young compared to 50 years ago. Uh, so if you're 70 today, you're made that you know, CLL, life expectancy was 70 in our country is now 20 years. So you've got to manage these patients. Patients are living longer because we are treating them better than we did in the past. So we have the problem of managing LD patients with side effects and complicated. So it's a very broad scenario. And the real world is also the real life is, apart from having all this, who's going to pay for all this? So these are practical issues that extend beyond CLL. I mean, it's for many conditions in hematology. Who's going to pay for the, these drugs, who are, which are very active? So that's a big question. Uh, again, in Europe, they are generally available. <coughs> with some very differences within countries. I live in Italy, where it's a national health system. So anybody, rich, poor, black or white, is entitled to get the best treatment. There's no discrimination, nobody has to pay until the country goes bankrupt, which may occur, but that's a different story. So far, it's an optimal system. Maybe the hospitals are not beautiful, but every patient is going to be treated in the same way, which I think is what should be in, in life. So these issues I will cover giving probably some examples because, I mean, uh, uh, I was in, give a couple of examples recently, a couple of weeks ago was in Romania. So the prognostic markers, they don't do them in Romania. So the ones that are important, they are sending them out in a laboratory outside Romania to be tested, sponsored by a company. Brazil, last week I was speaking with Brazilian colleagues and friends and uh, even a drug like rituximab, which is the anti z 20 is often not available. I mean, talking about rituximab, an old drug, not about to, to fancy new drugs. So these are realities around the world. So I think that is what I will probably cover to try to give an idea of how we have to look forward. But we can't be sort of blind and look one way and not think about the other people. And then, as you know, I mean, immigration is a big problem everywhere. So we cover everybody, but what about in other countries? And to go even further, I mean, we talk about the United States where they have everything you said, but it's not exactly like that. You've got to be insured. But insurance is not the same for everybody, so it depends on what type of insurance you have. So there's a co-payment is very frequently there. So you've got to co-pay for a part of treatment which may be forever. This is a big burden on the family. So these are the general themes that I think I will discuss.